This is the Fusion World job I was on about the other week in the video. What we've got is we've got these two new pumps going in. At the minute they've got diesel pumps, so they're placing them with these electric ones. Obviously these are all Fusion World fittings, that's the, that's the machine. There is some welding to do as well, but my brother's doing all that, he sorts all that sort of stuff out. And so yeah, it should be should be a nice little job really. Obviously we're, up, we're all outside, the sun's shining at the minute. At the minute they're using these diesel pumps, you see. So we've got some more flanges and that to go onto this tank. We have actually got empty that tank. I told my mate he's got to crawl in there and bung the outlets off. It's all full of crap at the minute. So all, all will become clear as we start, but one pump's going over here. We're going to move this container back a little bit because the pump's quite big. And we'll just level it up with Unistrut. So we're going to take that off there. One pump's going here. This will fill around. It's basically got effectively like two two ports going here. One's going there, one's going there. This will fill into that tank at the bottom and then this the, other, the outlet will go over that other tank there we need to cut a hole in the top and then the other pump's going to go over there where that one is somewhere over there and then we just need to rejig this pipework that's going to fill the lorry so basically all it's doing is keeping a continuous flow around the bottom because they keep getting sediment and solid build up in the bottom of that tank so this is going to effectively like be flushing around the bottom of the tank i think that's sort of the idea i haven't designed it somebody's designed it all i'm just fitting it so obviously it shouldn't be too bad so there is some welding i might have a go at that in a minute actually um the fusion welding is dead easy it's just obviously all you do is clean your fittings degrease and scrape them de degrease your pipe scrape your fittings scrape your pipe and you just scan it scan it in on your barcode on your fittings so it pretty much does it all for you obviously you connect your connect your rods onto each side and scan it and away you go um, it does all the heating and cooling for you on this obviously we've got all the i think they've set the wrong size clips actually but we've got all the fittings and stuff all the uni strut electrician's putting a big cable around as well yeah so it should be a nice little job really i like to do jobs like this gets you it's beats doing a bit domestic bit commercial i quite enjoy it i'll uh, walk over and see how my brother's getting on obviously we've got We've got a welder load, they've set there the wrong flanges, they should have been stainless, but we've got a welder load of flanges on to get us onto the fusion weld, and then we should be away then really. So these are the stainless flanges that are going to go onto the side of the tank, we've just tack welded that on temporary, just so we can get everything sort of lined up. We're missing some bits, so we can't actually start too much today, but we thought we'd come and have a look just to see what was here and what's not. As I say, we're going to try and get some of it set up. They've been made, or we've made them, so they bolt straight onto the side of the tank so we're going to have a valve into the side of the tank and then as i say we're, we're missing the air they're actually like air two ports i think not too not 100 percent sure what they are but effectively they can control the flow of sediment each way so they can dump it over the other tank or they can mix mix it with this tank if that makes sense it'll become clearer once we start getting some pipework and stuff laid out but as i say we're missing the clips and we're, we're missing some of these flanges as well so as i say quick my brother welds all these up stuff so yeah it should be a nice easy job once we get going these pumps are heavy as well we've got to get these round I don't know how much they weigh but I tried picking one end up and it weighs a ton so right, we're just moving this shed to give us a bit more room to tight the pumps we're just emptying the tanks and then this we're just shoving this back to be honest with you so the pump will sit where that freezer is somewhere and then the pipe will go across and say it'll come clear once we get once this sort of gets set up so yeah it's just doing all the prep work it takes the time this is the part we're using. All you do is you scrape this back. I don't know, you probably get a proper scrape for it. That's probably not the right thing. I'll find it, see if we've got a proper one. Uh, degrease it and then you can fusion well, but just need to cut its length. We'll cut it over here out of the way and take it across because these are like six meter lengths. So yeah, it's going all right. We've got the pump position now. I'll show you in a minute anyway. It's just a bit awkward getting it in. We just need to level it up and then we can start building some of the clips and brackets and stuff up. So we've just got the pump positioned. Obviously, really, you don't want to take your fusion weld fittings out of the packets until you're dead ready, because obviously you don't want to get any grease or debris in the end of your fittings. But we just wanted that one set up just so we can see where that flange goes. So we've leveled that pump across. We're going to make a frame for that anyway yet. Obviously, we can start welding some sections of pipework off, but we need to prep all this pipe carefully first. Obviously, we need to degrease it, scrape it, uh, basically make sure it's dead clean. And obviously, because we're working outside, we don't want the wind blowing down the pipe and cooling the fittings off either. So. Obviously that's a consideration, but the actual welding's not too bad. It's all in the prep work. Obviously you need to make sure that this pipe will not move when it's heating and cooling. Otherwise you're just gonna fail. And these joints are so expensive, you don't wanna make any mistakes. So everything's in the prep work on these sort of jobs. 
So yeah, that's all we're going to do now. Obviously, we've got the Fusion World wipes. All, all it is is degreasing it. That's all it does. And then obviously, make sure your fitting's pushed all the way in, and then just let the machine do the work. But it's, it's critical that that joint does not move, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. You can have leaks everywhere. So yeah, apart from that, it's going all right. So as I say, we've just got that's all bloody crap on the floor now. Um, so that's we've actually got to connect onto that one. I said slightly wrong in the video earlier, in the bit earlier. But that's this is going to come off here, T piece, T piece there, to an air valve there, have an air valve there. This will come along here. That one will connect in there, and then that other one goes over the top of that pump, goes over the top of the other tank. So that's that pump all set up, and then this will swing around across there, and then into that bottom flange there. But obviously, with uh, we're going to use. I'm going to put the valve on the tank this time because obviously they've put the anti-vibration things there but if that splits you can't isolate it so we're going to put valve on the tank isolator sorry valve anti-damper anti-vibration and then come around with a couple of 45s into the pump so it's not too bad it's just obviously everything's in the prep work so as this machine heats up you'll see the pins start to rise obviously i'm not going to touch this joint you cannot touch these until it's completely gone off so yeah they, they rise to tell you that it's sort of working. Obviously, it's, it's no guarantee that it's a good joint just because there isn't, but it should be fine in theory. So that's our first piece welded in. What we've got here is a T, and then we've got an air valve here, which shuts the supply off, and that's gonna go over that other tank. And then we need another flange, another air valve, and then this one's gonna go over the tank. But we need to make some brackets, so we've got some unistrut legs, so got these things so obviously a lot of the weight is where the air valves are so they'll go we've got to obviously cut them to length and stuff and make up the clips yeah that's sort of the first one in i just marked them to make sure they, they went in all the way that one drop the level that one should be fine these are the air shutoff i was on about so basically all these do is control the flow of sediment through whichever way we want so i think they just connect onto airlines i'm not 100 percent sure because it's the first time i've seen these really but you can just see there's a gate inside which that will slam shut so when we want to control the flow it can go one way or the other we've got we actually ordered five because there's one spare in case one ever breaks and then they'll just order a replacement so there's four here so these will go out of the side of them t's on the pumps so we're just welding one of the bits up round, round on the pump and this will be the next bit to go in then. So two of these onto the flanges and obviously we'll put flanges either side so if you, these ever go wrong you can just unbolt them and uh, get them out and swap them out real quick. Well we've got our air shut off valves set up. What we're doing is making brackets to go to the floor. We've got them levelled across and this one's going to come along here. I'm going to use two 45s there. It's going to come up in the centre of here and then connect onto that valve we just bolted on there. We've made a new flange as well. We've welded that flange up. So yeah, that'll come along. We'll make some brackets up. We're just using Unistrut and, uh, and brackets and then just, just onto the months and clips like that. That one's going to go straight along there above that tank on the left hand side of that pressure washer and then into the top of that overflow tank and that's pump one pretty much all set up we ordered some bits but they've sent the wrong size they've sent uh 180s and that needed to be 225 well set 200 and it needed to be 225 but obviously we can't connect that until the tank's drained anyway but this will just come out here and around and swing in there somehow so yeah going all right just a bit time consuming really but is what it is we're getting there it's one of them days where it's so hot you just have to keep drinking liquid just sat down for five minutes because it is literally like an oven we've got a little bit of shade from the silo which is right behind me all the way up there but we've just got another one set up set up on weld we're hoping i'll spin the camera around to get most of this pump piped up today we've got to get across there yet and then up and over the other tank we've got most of this section made up here but i say it's just so hot it's it's crazy it's, it's probably only like 28 degrees but you know it's humid it's just sticky so we're doing all right we just obviously got to finish making up these brackets and stuff we're going to put another one across here that wood is only temporary so yeah hopefully we should have a lot of this in today and then tomorrow what we don't get done we'll, if we don't get this quite done we'll um, finish it off and then we'll start on the other pump then and hopefully these other bits will turn up so yeah it's just just really hot it's just you know just sticky and takes all the energy out of you it's starting to take a little bit of shape now obviously this is the feed pipe that goes over the top so it's right to the very top of that silo we've got a valve on there and all this we just got one more to weld up on there apart from that that's all that done and then we just got this pipe to feed over the top of the other tank then so we've got the air valves we can control the flow 
and then over the top of the tank. So we're just measuring that piece now. We'll put some brackets along, probably off them concrete pads, and then just go up and over the tank. And then that is pretty much all we can do until we get the other bits. As I say, we haven't got the bigger pipe cooked, the inlet pipe yet. It should be here in the morning before half ten, hopefully. But they're not actually draining this silo till Monday anyway, so it's no massive drama. We just want to get the other pump try and set up tomorrow as well and get a lot of the pipe work in for it. But coming out, I know we've got to level all the feet up and stuff yet, but it's coming along obviously because they're all on the skew with it's because the ground is falling so we'll have to pack up the pack up the feet with some washers and stuff but it'll, we'll sort it it'll all look professional when we're done we've made up the proper brackets now and coach bolted these to the floor so they're absolutely solid we've even used the end caps so it's looking a bit more professional so it will look all good when we're done so obviously that's just temporary still so we just need to make another one for this side and we've got that length of pipe we've not welded that one up yet and we've got to work out whether we're going to use a couple of 45s 45 and then we've got to get up and over that tank we've got to cut a hole in that tank but we can't use any sparks because that might still be gas up there so we might just have to drill it out or something not quite figured that bit out yet but we'll sort that problem in a minute we're probably gonna make a foot for over there somewhere near that other one and then one on top and it should hold that pipe all right we don't we don't want to use any 90s because it can block we did order some sweeping ones but they haven't come yet so we'll probably just, as I say, 45, 45, and then we'll probably have to use 190 at the top, but we'll figure that bit out. With these screws, all you do, you don't need to plug these, so you just drill a hole and they'll wind straight in with the impact wrench, and that'll get a good fix in. As I say, we're just going around bracketing everything up, getting rid of all the bits of wood that we're in, and hopefully these valves will sit level then, and we need to work our way across. But it's coming along. So that's our pipe, we've just got that one on weld actually. So we're coming up here and into the top of this overflow tank. We need to cut a hole in here. What I'll probably end up having to do is drill this because we're in the explosive zone here. So there could be gases still built up in this chamber. So we're coming in somewhere next to this one. So we'll probably end up having to stitch drill that out. And as I say, we'll bracket on the top and then just bring it along. So you kind of get a bird's eye view from up here. Um, so yeah, as I say, the other pump's going to go over there. Once we get this one up here, we'll look at getting the other pump position then. But as I say, we just wait for that for the stuff to come. It's coming together, it's just really hot. It just takes your energy out of here. Right, this tank's supposedly empty, but just a little bit of concern. I tried backing that nut off around the bottom, that flange. We can empty it a bit more, but they're supposedly empty it over the weekend. But obviously it's a lovely smell at the minute. So hopefully we'll just do that slowly, but I do need to get that bottom one off because that, we've got to swap that to that and then pipe this into the pump then. This is why we're putting the pumps on because what we're getting is solid build up in the bottom of these tanks. I don't know how high that is, I've pushed a rod all the way through and it's solid. So what we're going to do is try and pump some more out with the tractor just to stop that because I've could i got to do the bottom one as well you see and if it lets go, if it hits liquid and then lets go, we're going to get in a bit of a trouble. So we'll probably shut this one off and just try and pump some out on the other side. And say, it's, li it's been liquid at the top and solid at the bottom, that's why we're putting these mixers on, because this is all where all the nutrients and stuff are, this is the good stuff.